Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh my gosh, this Roblox game is so much fun. Molly, you're not supposed to be playing on that. You're grounded. But mom, I've been grounded for three days now. You're not studying for your test like you're supposed to, Molly. Mermaid school is very important, especially for a princess like you. I don't want to be a princess. I'm tired of being a princess. Molly, this is your fate in life. You're meant to be a mermaid princess and one day a mermaid queen. Now get off of your computer. Maybe next time you'll, you'll take mermaid school a little more seriously. Fine. <laughs> being grounded. <laughs> Molly, try to turn your frown upside down. Go away, Daisy. Get out of my room. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just here to try to make you feel better. Nothing can make me feel better. I hate being a mermaid princess. Oh, Molly, it's not so bad. If you do your mermaid homework, you wouldn't get grounded. I don't like homework. It stinks. Well... Mom only grounded you from certain things, not everything. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is she didn't ground you from going outside. And if you go outside, there's plenty of fun things to do. We could get ice cream. We could play hide and seek. Whoa, you're right. <laughs> Mom can't say no to that. She didn't ground me from those things. Mom, Mom, where are you? Mom, Mom. Oh, there you are, Mom. Oh, hi. I'm just waving to my loyal fans. The kingdom needs me. And also, I'm drinking some coffee. <laughs> yeah, Mom. Um, well, I thought of something you didn't ground me from. Going outside, getting fresh air. Yeah, Mom, you can't deny you from getting fresh air. A mermaid needs it. Well, I guess. But be back in two hours, Molly. Okay, Mom. Thanks. Bye, girls. And Molly, stay out of trouble. No promises. Molly, come on, let's go to the cafe. Oh yeah, that sounds delicious. I haven't had a cupcake in days. Coral Cafe, one of my absolute favorites. What kind of deliciousness did they bake up today? Ooh, let's see. Um, oh, they don't. Do they have any snacks? I don't want just a drink, but um, first of all, I'm gonna have a dark roast with um chocolate drizzle. And, um, wait, I need a cupcake. I need a cupcake! Molly, your face looks weird in your mug. <laughs> Look at me, blah, blah. Oh, boy, you're ridiculous. <laughs> okay, um, where's the dark roast? Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, Molly, sorry to say, the cafe doesn't have any cupcakes today. What? It doesn't have any cupcakes? Are you serious right now? Oh, my gosh, this day couldn't get any worse. Well, at least you're going to get a delicious coffee with chocolate drizzle. Yeah, at least I'm going to get that. Okay, chocolate flavor, what else do they have? Ooh, actually, I think I want vanilla. Because I got dark roast, so I'm going to get like a... Just like a squirt of that. Ooh, that looks delicious. I mean, not as delicious if I was eating a cupcake with it, but you know, whatever. Wait, what? Where'd my, where'd my drink go? Molly, did you have enough money to pay for it? Um, no, I thought that they were doing it for free. Molly, of course they didn't. Oh boy, you didn't even get a coffee, did you? No, and I'm starting to get grumpy. I'm gonna go home and pow. Molly, don't go home and pow. Let's just go outside and play or something. We can play hide and seek if you want. Not so fast, little mermaid babies. Who are you calling a baby? I'm potty trained. Molly, it's, 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 it's a sea witch. Sea witch? But she hasn't been in, in Mermaid Land for a hundred years. Well, I'm back. And I need two mermaid babies 
to be my evil minions. We're not interested. Go find someone else. I think the queen's daughters would be perfect. I can curse you, you know, and you'll be my minions forever. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Dizzy, we have to figure out a way to escape. Marley, you distract her. I'll go make a hot coffee and pull it on her tail. She'll, she'll be distracted for sure. Okay, Dizzy. Excuse me, um, I have some questions about being a minion. Oh, such a great student. You won't need to know anything though once I cast this evil spell on you. You'll just do it. Take this, evil witch! Oh, did you just pour that hot coffee on my tail? Oh! Daisy, quick! Go home, quick! Oh my gosh, swim home as fast as you can, Daisy! We have to tell our mom! She's gonna try to take over the whole kingdom, I just know it! A queen must know how to wave. I practice my wave two times every day, morning and night. Mom! 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 Mom, what is it? I'm a little busy doing my wave exercises. I am queen, you know. Mom, she really needs to tell you something important. The, 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 the evil sea witch. What about the evil sea witch? She's been imprisoned for over a hundred years. Well, she escaped and she still looks really young. She must have some sort of youth potion. What are you talking about? She escaped. Is this some sort of prank? No, mom, it's not a prank at all. She escaped and, and, and she wants to turn us into her minions. What? My two precious daughters? She's telling the truth, Mom. She, she, she wants to turn, her, it, turn your daughters into minions. Molly and I will, 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 will be evil. I knew this day would come, especially after your father died, leaving me defenseless. But little does she know, I've been learning karate. Uh, Mom, I think karate will be a little difficult with a mermaid tail. Nonsense! Look at how I swish my tail! I can take down any enemy! Yeah, except for if she comes with like an entire minion, um, you know, like army. Oh, good point, Molly. Well, your father and I talked about this before his untimely passing, and the only thing we could think to do was to make you girls human and leave Mermaid Land forever in order to keep you safe. Say what? Become human? But, but mom, would you come with us? No, I'd have to stay here and fight. The sea witch must go down. Now, you girls must make haste. Head for the shore. What? Mom, we're not leaving you here with that evil witch. Yeah, mom, we're not doing it. Girls, you have to. You'll be happy as humans and one day I'll come for you again. Now go before the sea witch gets here. <laughs> girls. I heard her evil laugh. She's at the front door. Quick, make an escape through the balcony before she gets you. Come on, Daisy, we've gotta go. Whoa, what happened? Where am I? Daisy? Molly, why are we in the water? I, 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 I don't understand what's going on. And where are we? I don't know, that sign says, welcome to Brookhaven. Ah, where are my pants? I'm not, I'm not, I'm wearing any pants. Well, look at my outfit. I mean, it's like, it's like I've never had legs before. And I can't remember where I was before anything. I know, it's like I have amnesia. How did I get down here to the ocean? Super strange. I don't know who our parents are even. Me either. I guess we should head to the adoption center. The two mermaid princesses didn't remember that they were mermaids. They only knew each other's names, but they didn't remember who their parents were or anything else about their lives. They had to start their lives over again as humans. And it wasn't going to be easy. First, they would need to go to the adoption center and get new parents. And hopefully Mermaid Land wasn't being destroyed by the evil sea witch. Daisy, look, it's an adoption center. Maybe we could find some parents here. Molly, we must have got bonked on the heads. Maybe we should go to the hospital. Um, I don't know. Let's start the adoption center first. Maybe they'll know what to do. Good point, Molly, good point. Whoa! Um, where are your pants? I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to my pants. She could use some new ones, so do you have any spare pants? Um, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. 
Do you guys need adoption? Have you been living on the streets? Pants first! Okay, okay, pants. And I got you some new clothes too. They're nice and clean. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Now tell me, what's going on, girls? And what are your names? Well, I'm Molly. I died in Daisy and... And we just sort of woke up in the ocean. Wait, what? Did you fall off the side of a boat? Do you have a concussion? Maybe you should go to the hospital. I don't know. I mean, we don't remember anything. Okay, well, um, do you, do you think that you fell off the side of a boat? Do you think you have a concussion? We don't know. But we don't think so. We don't think we have parents. Oh, wow. Um, well, I can definitely help you here. This is the Adoption Center, and this is where we find you new parents. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. Right, Daisy? As long as my sister and I can stick together. But first, I think we should go to the hospital and see if anyone claims you. And have your heads checked out. Okay, well, let's go do it. Marley, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I don't feel like I got a bonk on the head. I don't know, but this bed is kind of comfy, so I'm just going to lay here until the doctor comes in. Well, what happens if they say we can't be? Oh, here she, here's the doctor. Hi, Dr. Nora. So what's, what's the what? Um, well, girls, I don't see where you had a bonk on your head, so I'm going to suggest that you stay here, though, for some observation. Plus, we can't release you until we know for sure that your parents aren't going to claim you. Oh, well, how long do we have to stay here? Oh, maybe a month or so. A month? Are you crazy? We don't want to stay here a month. Nope, nope, nope. Um, well, I'm very sorry, but this is the protocol. You guys can stay in this super comfy room, though, and, um, there's a snack machine, and, of course, you'll get three meals a day. Okay, Dr. Nora. I just don't really want to stay here for that long. I, I don't know what happened to me, but I, I want to start my life. I understand, but this month is absolutely necessary, and who knows? Your parents might actually come claim you. You give the best to retro vibes in the world. Girls, um, be careful. We're starting to go stir crazy. We can't stay at this hospital any longer. Well, it's been a month and no one's claimed you. We can't have these kids running around like this, Dr. Nora. I'm sorry, but I don't have anywhere else to send them until the month is up. Well, the month is up. I've been counting down the days, the minutes, the seconds. They're just running around and being loud and disturbing all the patients. Well, I guess we could send them to the adoption center. You better hurry up with that, Dr. Nora. Hurry up, or you're fired! Actually, girls, I was thinking maybe I could adopt you. Seriously? Yeah, my husband and I would love to have children, and, and we don't have any yet. What do you think? I'd love for you to be my mom. It's sort of like you've been my mom for a month anyway. So Nora and her husband, Bob, they adopted Molly and Daisy. Stay tuned for part two, where we find out if the sea witch destroyed Mermaid Land and if Molly and Daisy ever remember who their true parents are. We'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often, and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I don't I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute, I want to watch this show. I go poo-poo soon. I go poo-poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a bacon. No, I wear diaper forever. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I like popcorn and uh, a snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. I like popcorn. So good. <laughs> oh, I got her my dummy. OMG, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. 
Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something at the back door. There it is again! Well, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I brave, I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're Baby Kara, no! We're all gonna go together. I wanna go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let me be Kira. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're gonna send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're gonna all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a boogaloo or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh, boy. That was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's... Daisy! It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power's going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High! Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy! Uh, baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Ew, baby Kira! Don't you have to go poo poo? Oh, well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kira. Or you could go in the party too. No party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Riley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it. At the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's baby Kira? Oh my god! She didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so glad to see you. I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he's a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, <sighs> this panic room is definitely worth it. <sighs> well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No steps? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Molly, seal! Everybody might be hungry. Or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I did not What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got that the button, a monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room. Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but I don't I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a long time and the monster figures out how to get into a panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, Dizzy, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. 
I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Manto nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here! Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. We be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door! Oh, Baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira! Don't go down the escape hatch! Oh, my God. Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch! What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit! This means that that she's gonna be out there with the monster! Oh my gosh, this is so bad! No! Monster, you stay away from my baby sister! Hi, monster! I come see you! Bye! Hi, monster! <sighs> ah! Baby Kira, run! Oh my gosh, babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kira! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! <laughs> Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to tease you, monster! Whee! Monster! Get back and back right. Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Oh, I babysit. Wait, what? You, you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though. Hold still, I'm still gonna tase you. Da, da, tase my friend. Monster nice. Monster not doing anything wrong. Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it. I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with a monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness. Is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Manto, Manto Knight. Whee! I'm not mean. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh. Well, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, uh, this time it's really important. Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on, let's go play this game next. Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on. Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he... Seemed really mean, so we went into the um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know. I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're going to come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, Baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at Dave and Buster's if he's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true, and I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Mato. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster, and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay, when's dinner? Tomorrow, 
have a full clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. I am far too lazy to keep walking to school every day. I finally saved up some money, and now I'm going to buy my very first car. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. So I'm at the car lot today to see what kind of car I can get. Holy guacamole! This one's amazing! Well, hello there! I'm Rick. You can call me Ricky, though! Um, okay, your name is Rick, but you like being called Ricky. Okay, got it. Salesman Ricky, I love this car. Oh, yeah, this is a top-of-the-line sports vehicle right here. It's only $100,000. <laughs> Pretty easy for a student like you to afford, right? Not! <laughs> Well, uh, Ricky, no, actually, you're right. I could never afford this car. <laughs> Can I just sit in it? I like the new car smell. <sighs> no, you can't sit in it. Of course not. It's only for people who make $100,000 a year or more. They're the only ones that can sit in it. Oh, man. I should have told you that after I sat in it, huh? Tell me what your budget is, and I'd be happy to get you in one of these vehicles. Um, well, uh, let me count how much I have. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have um, $100. Whoa, $100? <laughs> that barely buys you a sandwich at McDonald's these days. You think you're going to get a car for that? Um, yeah. Well, I might have one car. Hooray! <laughs> Which one is it? Which one? Oh, boy. This one's not 11. I swear, it's a great car. Um, are you sure it's not going to break down on me? There is a lemon law in Brookhaven, you know. I'm serious. This is not a lemon car. <laughs> not even a lime. So what's it going to take to get you in this beautiful car? Actually, it's kind of the color of a lime. Yes, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Come on, come on. Hand over that money and get in the car. Okay, well, I guess. But it, it works really good, right? It sure does. <laughs> Test it out. Um, okay, wait. We're, we're just going to have to hotwire it together. Really? Why? Well, you didn't expect this car to be brand new, did you? <laughs> you only have $100. No. But, um, how will I know to hotwire it? Don't worry. You'll figure it out super easy. <laughs> look at you. You look so amazing in your brand new car. Um, yeah, that does sound pretty good. Okay, just a little hot wiring here and a hot wiring there. And look at the car started right up. Oh, don't run over me. Do you have your driver's license? Holy guacamole. Uh, yeah, I just got it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oops, that's reverse. Okay, thank you, Ricky. See you later. If you have any problems, don't call me. There's no refunds and there is no uh, money back or warranties or anything. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Whoa, this car is, well... Uh, kind of all over the road. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. All right, well, I just got to get back in because I thought it was stalling, but it didn't. Okay, I'm going to go home, and um, then I'm going to have a new car tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. I'm not going to have to walk to school. <laughs> Wait till my sister sees my new car. She's going to be so jealous. Ugh, it won't reverse. Okay, there we go. Whoa, I almost ran it into the garage door. Um, oh, wait a minute. I don't have my garage door opener. Well, I'll just go inside and get it. Wait a minute. Why won't the door open? I, 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 the door won't open. Oh, man. Okay, let me try the other the other side. Maybe, maybe it'll open on this side. None of the doors open in this. Wait a minute. Did he give me an actual key to this car? He did it. Now I'm locked inside here. Holy guacamole. Okay, that's all right. I'll just call Daisy with my cell phone. Look for it, look for it. Where's my... Oh my gosh, I left my cell phone in my room. That's okay, I'll just call for Daisy. Wait, I just... I roll down the window and then call for her. Wait, the windows won't roll down either? This is a lemon. What a hunk of junk. Okay, I'll just try yelling as loud as I can. Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh, these puppy and kitty videos on YouTube are so adorable. Perfect! What was that? I thought I heard my name being called. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't see anybody outside. Weird. I'm hearing things. 
back to my YouTube videos, though, because look at how adorable these kittens and puppies are. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. that sound again? Oh, man, maybe I need a snack or something. Obviously, my blood sugar is low. <laughs> what is my sister doing? She must be able to hear me. I'm screaming my head off. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm going to be stuck in here until somebody comes outside. Oh, well, at least I have a sleeping bag. Well, that's a little cozier. Now I just need some snacks. Mmm. Our donut is delicious. Mmm. And I'll wash it down with some Doritos. And a delicious shake from Starbucks. Mmm. Well, I guess I'm sleeping out here tonight. Well, it's kind of cold out here even with my sleeping bag. I hope I don't freeze. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh, what a long overnight shift. Oh, thank goodness I'm home. Hey, wait a minute. Who's in my driveway? Someone just thinks they can park this hunk of junk in my driveway? Rude! That's it. I'm calling the, the tow company and they can come tow this junk out of my driveway. Towing service, how can I help you this early morning? Hello, this is Officer Dan. I just got home from an overnight shift at the police station and there's a hunk of junk of a car parked in my driveway for absolutely no reason. Oh, Officer Dan, we're so sorry to hear that. We'd be happy to help you right away. Okay, send a tow truck immediately, please. No problem. See you then. Bye. Oh, good. Here's the tow truck. Finally, I can get this hunk of junk out of my driveway. Yup, right here. Yup, it's that green one. The one that says not a lemon when it absolutely definitely is a lemon. Hi there, no problem. We'll just get this car right out of your way, Officer Dan. Okay, Officer Dan, we're so sorry about this. We'll make sure we know who the owner is and um, we'll find them for it, right? Exactly. A fine should definitely be issued for parking in someone else's- Whoa! You're gonna drop the car! Oh, whoopsie, I forgot to put the straps on. My bad. Well, there's no more room at the car dump, so I guess we're just gonna throw it into Lake Madison. Here we go. See you later, hunk of junk car. Huh? What? What's happening? What's happening? Hey! Hey! Ah! Why are you throwing me in the lake? Ah! The doors won't open! Say what? Is, is there a person in there? Holy guacamole! Hold on! I'm coming to rescue you! You can't rescue me! The, the, the door won't open! Oh my gosh! This is tragedy! Okay, that's okay. I know how to hotwire this car. You do? Yeah, and I also know how to break it open with a hammer. Okay, stand back. I'm going to bust open the windshield. Here we go. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, the water's filling up. Hurry! Okay, uh, there should be enough for you to swim out. Um, oh, you saved my life. But you also tried to throw me into the lake. What is going on? Come back to the shore and I'll tell you. Um, Officer Dan called us about a hunk of junk of a car in, the, in, in his driveway, and I, and I didn't realize you were sleeping inside of it. Are you serious? Dad called my new car a hunk of junk? <laughs> well, I guess he does have a point. And now it's sinking to the bottom of Lake Madison. <laughs> uh, well, that was the worst hundred dollars I ever spent. <laughs> I should have bought a bike to drive me to school. <laughs> Well, um, sorry about the loss of your car. Whatever. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure, no problem. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, don't run over me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not the best driver. No problem. <laughs> well, see you later, first car. If I ever want to visit you, I'll scuba dive to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, class, as you know, tomorrow we're gonna be off for winter break. I know you're all excited, but I do have a project that you're each supposed to complete over winter break. Molly, why don't you go ahead and read the quote on the board, please? Molly? Molly! <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? I was awake the whole time. I wasn't sleeping. Then what's that little bit of drool on your face for, Molly? <laughs> Nothing! Don't listen to Brookie. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Molly, please read the quote on the board. Okay, um, you'll never get bored when you try something new. There's really no limit to what you can do. That's right, guys. So during your winter break, I have decided that you each are going to do an internship with a business in Brookhaven. Whoa, that sounds amazing. That sounds like it'll interrupt my snack time, movie time, and nap time. Well, Marty, if you're being lazy, but think of the opportunities we could learn. We could learn to be, I don't know, baristas at the Starbucks or um, doctors at the hospital. Wow, that would be cool. There are so many opportunities. I have them all listed here on this printout. You guys decide which internship you would like to be a part of. Huh, none of these look interesting to me at all. I really would rather sit at home and just like chill out. Wait a minute, police officer? Okay, Mrs. Smith, I know what I wanna do. Oh, wow, Molly. First one in the class, that's amazing. What is it you would like to do for your internship over on um, winter break? I want to work at the police station. Yes! Whoa, that sounds amazing. I want to do that too. Can both of us do that? Of course you can. What about you, Daisy? I'm going to work at the bank because, you know, I'm going to be a billionaire someday. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good one, Daisy. Sure you are. I am, Molly. Okay, sisters, no fighting. So I expect you to come back from winter break with a report on how your internship went. Well, we've got to go. Make sure you report for your internships tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Oh, no school for a whole week. I can smell the freedom now. So Molly, I'll meet you tomorrow at the police station. You betcha, Brookie. This ought to be an interesting job. Hey, guys, wait for me. I'm going to work at the bank. I'm going to learn how money works. This is how it works. You have none, and so you can't buy anything. Right now I can't, but eventually I will. Uh-huh, sure you will. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Molly, I live with you. Oh, yeah. Ugh, I'll see you in 10 minutes, Daisy. Ugh, why do I have to live with her? Because I'm your sister, duh. Oh, yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> I'm not a prisoner. Then why are you wearing that? I'm going to have to tase you and put you back in your cell. Wait, no, wait, don't tase me. Seriously, don't tase me. I, I got this from Spirit Halloween. Hold still while I tase you. Ow, that really hurt. Why'd you do that? Because you're a criminal and you're supposed to be in your jail cell. Now get up and let's go. I would if you hadn't tased me. Oh, I don't think I can move. Also... Ew, did you just fart? Well, when you taste somebody, you know, sometimes, um, well, you see what happens. Oh my gosh, Molly, are you okay? Oh, hi, intern. What's your name again? Brookie. Um, what's going on here? You know this criminal's name? Are you guys related or something? No, that's my friend. You're friends with a criminal? I think that might be a bad idea. No, she's not a criminal. But she's wearing her orange jumpsuit. Oh, she's just a jokester, Molly. Sorry, I thought it would be funny. I got this from Spirit Halloween. Wait a minute, are you my other intern? Yeah, name's Molly. Oh, you're getting off to a great start. I know, can somebody help me up? Sure, Molly. You might want to take this a bit more seriously though. It's for our grade. Wait a minute, we're being graded? That's right, depending on how you do here at your internship will be what I tell your teacher. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, come on. I'll give you a tour around the police station. This is where all of the paperwork is done. And we get any calls that we need to go on for, you know, criminals or thieves or... Wow. Interesting. How often does that happen? 
Not a lot. Brookhaven is pretty safe. Um, back there is also the jail cells. Whoa, this is so cool. I'm going to look. You almost ended up in one, Molly. Like guacamole, they get a sink, a toilet, uh, and a bunk bed? That seems pretty amazing. Ha 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 Molly. Hey, let me out of here. You do the crime, you do the time. Girls, stop goofing around, come on. Sorry, <laughs> she is wearing that outfit. Yes, please change out of that right away, Molly. I don't want people to confuse you for a criminal. Okay, fine. How's this? Um, you're wearing the same uniform as me. That is not the intern uniform. Okay, uh, intern uniform. How about this? Molly, you're not a member of the FBI. Okay, how about this? Perfect, cadet. All right, now over here. I'm going over to see what's in here. Ooh, the break room. Wait, where's all the donuts? You're a cop. Where's all the donuts? Um, I haven't picked them up yet. Oh, wow, look at You can go out here to the yard. This is where criminals get to have fresh air. Oh, they even got a basketball hoop. No talking. Whoa, strict. Absolutely. Everything's under video surveillance. All right, girls. I need to go over to the diner and um, get some donuts. Stay out of my office. Is this your office? Yes, it is. And I've left some paperwork for you guys to do. Oh, paperwork? All right, let's see what it's about. A cat up a tree? Yes, being an intern isn't really like being a cop, okay? You have to do all the boring stuff I don't want to do while I drink a coffee and eat a donut at the diner. Be good, girls! Oh, this is so boring, Brookie. Well, it is for our grade, so I think we should just kind of go along with whatever the cop wants. You don't want her to arrest us. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Molly, where are you going? I'm going up to look at the chopper. <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing. Molly, what are you doing right now? Molly, come down from there. Molly. <laughs> Looks like I'm about to take off. Now, how do I make this thing go? Hmm, I don't even know how to work it. Molly, what? You're taking off upside down. What are you doing? I don't know how to run this thing. Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Molly, just go forward. Okay, I'm trying. Uh-oh, here we go. Whoa, cool. Molly, don't crash it. You're going to end up in jail. Me crash it? Nah, no, never. Whoa, what's going on? I'm losing speed. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Not really. I'm doing loop-to-loops. Brookie, help. Molly, I can't help you. Molly? 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 Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you crashed. Molly, say something. Molly? Are you alive? Uh, I can't move any part of my body. Everything is hurting. Oh my gosh, Molly. Oh no, I think you broke at least some of your bones. This is Brookie. This is intern Brookie. I'm gonna need an ambulance here out in front of the police station. Stat! Oh no, don't tell anybody. We're gonna get grounded. Grounded? Being grounded is the least of your worries, Molly. Going to prison or 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 worse is is the is the worst part of it. Or if you've broken your bones. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up on that ambulance! Hurry up! I think this is where we say goodbye, Brookie. I think this is where we say goodbye. Molly, don't you give up on me! Don't you give up! Molly, hold on! The doctor's coming! Oh, wow. This doesn't look good at all. Let me see your front. Oh, yeah, she's dead. What? No, she's not! Check her vitals! Uh, she looks pretty dead to me. She's not dead! Uh... See? She's moaning! Are you even a doctor? Uh, yeah, but I'm just interning for the summer. OMG, how my friend? Okay, we need to get over to x-ray. Stat, come on. Um, I'll, Well, actually, you can't walk, can you? <laughs> Silly me. Oh, world's worst doctor. Okay, Um, yeah, we'll get her a stretcher and we'll bring her right in. Okay, thank you. Here you go, get on the stretcher. Ow, ow! All right, now we're gonna go over to x-ray. This may hurt a little bit because we have to move your body onto the x-ray machine. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Okay, here we go, we're x-raying you! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Seems like she's broken her neck. 
What? My mom always warned me about that. Don't do that, Molly. You're going to break your neck. And now I actually did? Yeah, but it looks like you also broke your hip and your arm. Oh, no. This is terrible. Doctor, how is she? She broke lots of things. Her neck, her arm, and what was the other one? Oh, yeah, her hip. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Don't worry. I'll have her patched up in no time. She doesn't need surgery? No, nope, sir, no surgery, but she's going to have to spend winter break while in bed. What? No, I've got to be a police officer. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's get you patched up. There, that should do it. I feel like a dog. I can't even see anything. Uh, yeah, and also you can't lick your wounds like a dog. Why would I do that? It looks like the sergeant from the, the police station is coming. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Good morning. I'm here to talk to Molly. I don't know who Molly is. Molly's not here. Uh, Molly is right there in the bed. <laughs> she may have a concussion. No, I don't. I just don't want him to know who I am. Okay, okay, enough, girls. I have in my report here that you were on an internship. You decided to fly the chopper. Is that correct? I uh, know. I don't know what you're talking about. You really need to be honest with me here, Molly. Okay, yeah, I did it. How much do I owe you? Each chopper is almost a million dollars. A million dollars, Molly? Well, no, no problem, no problem, because my sister got her internship at the bank, and she said she's going to be rich, so she'll take care of this for me. Okay, where could I find your sister? I'm um, going down to the local Brookhaven bank. She'll pay you, I'm sure. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, Daisy makes lots of money now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, and I think it goes without saying. You're fired! I got fired from an internship? Harsh. I can't believe it! It's my first day of kindergarten! OMG! This is gonna be so cool! Well, I think so. I I've never been to kindergarten before. Okay, I just gotta brush my teeth. Wait a minute. I can't reach the sink! How am I gonna go to school now? I I'm too short! I can't go to school with stinky breath! Maddie, what are you doing? Hurry up! We have to go! I can't go to kindergarten! What? We have to go! I'm gonna be late to school! And I wanna start off with my amazing career on the right foot! Uh, but, but I can't go! Why? Because I can't reach the sink to brush my teeth! Well, you'll have to skip it, Molly! I don't wanna skip it! I have stinky breath! Well, you can say that again! P.U. Your breath does stink! Okay, I have an idea! I'll, um... I'll crouch down, and you can jump on me to get on the sink. Are you sure, Daisy? Absolutely, Molly. Try it. Uh, uh, I, uh, wait, I made it! Awesome! Now brush your teeth and hurry up. We have to go. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Oh, there it is. La, 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 la. Molly, how can I start my career as a rocket scientist if you don't get to school on time? <laughs> That reminds me of um, when we first started daycare, remember? Yeah, I think you made us late that day, too. What? No, I didn't. I think I did a bag at that bar. I'll come right there. <laughs> Molly, he's not happy about coming to daycare. I want my mommy. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be okay. Your mommy will come back. I know it. What if our mommy doesn't come back, Daisy? She left us here, too. <laughs> Molly, it's gonna be okay, I promise. Don't cry. Mom will be back soon. Hello. <laughs> Would you guys like to come over and play in the circle? We're gonna read books and stuff. <laughs> Molly, why are you crying again? I have a dirty diaper. Oh my goodness, Molly, that's horrible. Well, maybe one of these nice people would change your diaper. I don't want it up. I want to be my friend. Molly, that's not a good way to start your new, um, career at daycare. Well, hello there, little girl. Why don't you come over here? There's gonna have lots of fun. We're gonna play games and we're gonna have snacks. Why are you going with my sister? Come back here. That's my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I got a new diaper. Why do I got a new diaper? I'm a poo poo. No one changed my diaper. Molly, are you laughing or crying? Crying! And I'm laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Molly can make up her mind if she's happy or sad. Oh! You dropped me! I gave the daycare care one star. I gave it one star too. He dropped me. I want my mommy. 
Don't worry. Stop crying. Seriously, your mommy will come back eventually. Ah. Mommy, let's go play with toys. Okay, go play with toys. Ooh, you a stinky diaper. I know! No one changed my diaper! Woo! Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi! Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy we went to daycare. I know, it was kind of fun though, right? Um, yeah, once we got used to going. I bet that's exactly how kindergarten's gonna be. Yeah. Probably. I think we'll eventually like it, but maybe the first day will be a little scary and a little different. True. Well, we better get going. The school bus is here. Yeah, let's go. Hello, class, and welcome to kindergarten. I'm so glad you're all here today. I know you're going to do awesome on your journey through school. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. I'm Mrs. Smith. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Oh, this is so lame. Why am I even at school to learn so you can be super smart and get any kind of job you want or start a business or something when you get older it's a really your choice but you need a good education that's what my mom and dad say whatever this is so boring Okay, well, I'd like everyone to split into groups, please. And um, we're going to practice our ABCs. Can you believe this, Mr. Monkey? It's our first day of kindergarten. We're going to learn our alphabet. Why do you still have a, that stuffed animal? Stuffed animals are for babies. Um, Because I'm still little, so I have a stuffed animal. If you're a grown-up, you use a laptop like me. Uh, but I'm not a grown-up. I'm still a kid. Well, I just think you're a loser. Wait, what? You're a loser. What? What? Why would you say that? And I don't like your monkey. He's ugly. <laughs> Molly, is everything okay over there? She's just crying like a big baby. Sarah, we try to use nice words in this kindergarten class. Molly, what's wrong? <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, Molly, it's normal to miss your mom on your first day of school, but, you know, it's going to be okay. We're going to have fun, right? No, this isn't fun at all. I don't like school. Well, Molly, I think you might change your mind eventually. <laughs> now let's go to lunch and see if we can have a much better day. Uh, okay, well, that girl's really me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Something smells really good. It's... Is that what I think it is? Molly, are you okay? I am now. That smells like pizza. Daisy, did you know that they have pizza at the school? Yeah, I, I knew because they sent mom the, the uh, cafeteria menu a week ago. Holy guacamole. I picked my favorite subject at school. What is it, Molly? Lunch. Oh, poor Ah, uh, How much longer do I have to be in here, Mrs. Smith? Molly, your detention just started, and it's already boring. Molly, take out a piece of paper and a pen, please, and write, I will do my homework about 100 times. Oh, man. Molly, you have to start taking school seriously. It's very important that you get good grades and you learn. It will set you up for the rest of your life. I mean, you wouldn't want to be stuck in detention forever, would you? What? Forever? I can hardly make it through five minutes of this. This is horrible. Exactly. So you need to start applying yourself and doing better. What you do now is going to affect you in high school and for the rest of your life. Wow. Never thought about it like that. Can I be dismissed? I'm hungry for pizza day. Molly, I know that lunch is your favorite favorite subject, but you're not getting out of detention. Oh, man. Miss Smith, Miss Smith. Oh, there you are. You wanted to see me? Molly, are you in detention again? No talking to the prisoner, please. Prisoner? Yeah, Molly, you're in detention jail again. What can I do for you, Mrs. Smith? Well, Daisy, I see you got another hundred on your test. I just can't even believe it. What a goody two-shoes. Molly, remember your writing. I will remember my homework about a million times. Anyway, I have something special to give you because you won the math-a-thon too. Really? Oh, 
OMG! Really, could she be any more perfect? Oh, so annoying. Yep, here you go. <laughs> it's your very own Mathathon trophy. Whoa! I love math. It's so awesome. Actually, who did that question on the board? They got it wrong. That would be me! Molly, if you did your homework, this wouldn't happen. Well, Daisy, I just want to congratulate you on being an amazing student. You're well on your way to rocket science. I know, right? I've wanted this since day, Kale. Ugh, sisters are so annoying. Uh, Mrs. Smith, I've been here a really long time and, um, the school is flooding! Well, Molly, your detention is not over yet. But, but the water is up to my knees! I have to go! <sighs> okay, Molly, I guess your detention can be over. But remember what I said about starting to apply yourself at school. Now, you should probably evacuate. Huh, bye! Oh my gosh, it's flooding everywhere in the school. I better get to higher ground. Plus, I totally need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, look, here comes a loser. Whatever, Sarah. Huh. Rude. I've had the worst day ever. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't do your homework and you got detention again. You spent your life in there. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, what a loser. I'm not a loser, Sarah. Yeah, you are. And you're a little bit ugly, too. What? That wasn't nice. You're, you're, just, you're just bullying me. Whatever, loser. I've got to talk to my friends. See you later. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you just come into the bathroom and you're mean to me. Correction, you came into the bathroom. Ugh, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Molly, maybe coming to the beach today wasn't such a good idea. Holy guacamole, there is no beach. It's completely flooded. Molly, be careful. The water's over your head. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's get to higher ground. <sighs> Molly, what are we going to do if the whole town is flooded? Too late, Daisy. Holy guacamole. Daisy, what are we going to do if this keeps flooding? We're going to be stuck here, Molly. And maybe, maybe we'll do wow. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible, Daisy. Hello up there. Do you need help? I've got a floating um, four-wheeler. Whoa, you mean a boat? No, it's a four-wheeler with floating tires. Come on, I can help you. Why ask questions, Molly? Just get on the floating four-wheeler. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to get on. I, I can't get on. Oh, my God, I'm going to drown. Hold on to me. I'm Luke, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm I'm Molly. Hey, you too. Are you going to remember me? I'll be back for you. Whoa. Whoa, Luke, be careful. Don't worry. I'm an expert at driving these floating four-wheelers. Okay. Whoa, I can see that you are. You just crashed again. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying my best. A little nervous. I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you. What? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Okay, I I'm going to go rescue the other girl. That other girl's my sister. Her name's Daisy. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute. Wait, what's your name? My name's Molly. My name's Luke. See you in a minute. Uh, bye, Luke. OMG. He's so nice. And he's so cute. Oh, I really like him. Daisy, Luke brought you back. Yeah, he's really nice, huh? And so cute. What? Molly? Did you fall for Luke? Um, well, uh... You did, Molly! Look, the flood is gone. Oh, thank goodness. That was crazy. Hey, guys! <laughs> Look, the flooding's all gone and the sun's out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. Thanks so much for uh, rescuing you. Uh, 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 she means rescuing us. Yeah, sorry. Got a little tongue-tied there. No problem. Hey, um, so I'll see you in school tomorrow? Yeah, I never noticed you in school before. That's because I just moved here. Oh, well, um, maybe you have the same teacher as me. I have Mrs. Smith for math and English. Me too. We could sit next to each other tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ugh, did you guys see that vlog? It was so insane. Wait a minute. Why am I talking to you? Oh, who are you? Oh, hi. I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> um, so are you going to the dance on Friday? Um, excuse me, but Luke and I were talking. Actually, I've got to get going. <laughs> I'm going to be late for dinner and I'm starving. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Luke. Oh, he's so dreamy. What? Don't even think about it, loser. I think he's going to be my boyfriend. What? No, he's not. He's going to be my boyfriend. No. What would he want to do with a loser like you? Pfft, I can't even believe he talked to you. It's just because he's a nice person. What? 
That's not true. Yeah, it is. See you later, loser. Tomorrow, when I ask him to the dance, everything's gonna be amazing. What? No! Where's our teacher? Like, she's late for school. Does that mean she gets detention? It's probably still flooded where she is, Sarah. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I just walk into the classroom and just ask her. Oh my gosh, it's Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> oh, he's about to ask me. Oh, uh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Luke. Okay, so I'll just spare you, like, of feeling nervous because I know I'm gorgeous and stuff, and it would be hard to ask me the dance the answer is yes what he he asked sarah to the dance sorry molly i know you really like luke actually wait a minute sarah i i wasn't gonna ask you to the dance wait what i was going to ask molly what you you were yeah you're so cool, Molly. Would you go to the dance with me? I brought you some flowers. I'm hoping you'll say yes. Yeah, of course I'll go to the dance with you. What? This is preposterous. I cannot believe this. I'm out of here. Ugh, this is horrible. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are going to the dance together. Wow, Luke. This is gonna be so much fun going to the dance. Yeah, I think so too. I can't believe I get to take you. Wow, this is YouTube gold. I'm gonna make a show about growing up in Beacon High School. I'm gonna call it Brook High. Wow, Daisy, that's actually a great idea. Except for not of my life. But Molly, you do go to Brook High. And you're going to the dance with Luke. That's right, I sure am. Just try to behave yourself, Molly. We're never gonna get parents if you just keep being rude to everyone. I don't care about parents. I'm a demon. And I'm an angel, and I can't believe I'm stuck with you as a sister. Well, <laughs> you could be thankful. Having a demon as a sister is amazing. I don't really think so. Hey, hamster, be quiet. Don't be rude to my hamster. Well, it was being rude to me. Ay, ay, ay. I heard that today new parents are going to come in. Yeah, and look at all these adorable babies. What are they going to do? Adopt toddlers like us? Yeah, of course they will, Molly. If you're good. Here they come now. <laughs> Time to be our worst behavior. Laura, Laura, the, the, the nursery's in here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're adopting. I'm so excited. They told me that they had twins in here. Whoa, look at all these babies. Oh my gosh, look at that one with the wings. Oh, I think she's an angel. She's adorable. And look, she comes with a little hamster. Hi, I'm Kathy. And the hamster talks. Okay, that's awesome. You can adopt me. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have a twin? Who, me? No, I don't have a twin. What? She's betrayed me? <gasps> that's okay. I don't need anybody. Oh, but the hospital staff said the little toddler had a twin. Wait a minute. I think it's... I think her twin is over there. What? No, you don't see anything over in the corner. Nope, just me. No, I definitely see another little kid over there. Come on, Laura. Let's go see. Oh. Hello? Uh, is she an angel? No! I'm a demon! <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm not sure that we were gonna adopt a demon. <laughs> That's good, because I don't need any parents. Actually, if you're a demon, I think you need the parents the most. Laura, come on. She really needs guidance. I don't know, Dan. A baby demon? And a baby angel, two for one heel. You, you can adapt us both. I don't want parents. Well, I think you really need some. Oh, my gosh. I, stop it. I don't want to ride piggyback on your back. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Hey, can you give me a ride? You have wings. Uh, no. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, well, it's settled. You girls are getting adopted. And, well, Molly, even if you are a demon, you can still be our daughter. Wow, finally we got parents. My sister has tried to scare off every single set of parents in the entire universe. Huh, by doing what? Um, driving their car into the pond. What? Setting their house on fire. What? You know, just little things. Yeah, little things. Wait till you see what I'm really capable of now that I'm adopted. <laughs> First, 
I'm gonna go in the x-ray machine. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Molly, get out of there. You're not supposed to be in there. I wanna x-ray my wings. I've never seen that before. Molly! Oh, she's already causing trouble. Okay, little troublemaker, come on. Oh, you got me out of there too soon. I didn't have time to x-ray my wings. Annoying. I can see this dad of mine is gonna be on my tail constantly annoying me. Maybe I should run away. Yeah, that might be a good idea. What did you say? Nothing! We just stop moving so fast. Hey, there's my car. Okay, I'm in the car. Buckle your seatbelt. Now. Molly! Okay. Quit being such a demon. These parents are going to give us back. Yeah, right. They seem to really like you. I don't think they'd sacrifice you to send me back. Well, for your sake, I hope so, Molly. I got all the paperwork. You're officially our daughters. That means we're in charge. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, girls, let's celebrate with some ice cream. Ooh, I love ice cream. Ice cream is for angels. Do I look like an angel? But they have chocolate, vanilla, bubblegum, birthday cake, and mint chip. Ooh, mint chip. That sounds delicious. Be careful, demon. Your angel side is showing. No, it's not. I hate ice cream. I don't want any of this. I'm sitting over here by myself. Molly, won't you come sit with the rest of the family? Today's your adoption day. No. Well, see yourself, Molly. I got some delicious ice cream. Molly, come here, please. What? What? What do you want, Mom? Get some ice cream, Molly. Fine. Mm. Wow. Okay, this is pretty good. Hey, Angel, shove over. I can't help it. My wings are really big. Fine, you can sit on the inside. You wouldn't even want to be patient for five seconds. Oh, look, they're already fighting like they're our kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. Mm. This ice cream's pretty good. I guess having parents who buy you ice cream isn't so bad. Don't get the wrong idea, though, Molly. You'll still have to do chores and go to school. Oh, okay, and that sounds great. Where are you going, Molly? I just have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Time to get out of here. Parents are annoying. Oh, can I climb up this ladder? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm on my own. I'm free of that annoying angel sister of mine. Now I can go live wherever I want. Ooh, the haunted house in town. This seems like a perfect place for a demon to live. Now I'm going to make it super awesome in here. Ah, <sighs> Haunted home, haunted home. Molly, are you in here? It's really creepy. Please answer. Oh my gosh, I've got to hide. Here comes that annoying dad guy. Molly, are you upstairs? Uh, it's, it's so creepy. I'm hiding behind the pillow so he won't see me. Molly, we miss you. We know we're not perfect parents, okay? But we still want you to be a part of our family, even if you are a demon. Whoa, I wonder if he really meant that. No one's ever said anything to me like that before. Everyone always wanted me to change. They never just wanted me to be who I was, which is a demon. Molly, are you in here? Um, I I'm up here. Molly, there you are. Your mom and I were so worried. Your sister could probably live without you right now, but whatever. We love you, even though you're a demon. Do you really? Because sometimes I do naughty things. I know, that's how baby demons are. But we're your parents, so we love you no matter what. Now, why don't you come live with us? Besides, this haunted house is creepy. I know, it's cool, right? Uh, maybe when you grow up, you can live by yourself in a haunted house. But for now, you have to come live at our house. And by the way, it's not haunted. Well, until you get there. And then it's sort of haunted because you're a demon. Okay, I, th I think you've got this all figured out, Dad. <laughs> totally. Now, let's go home. Okay. I guess I got adopted today. Can't believe it. I always thought that no one would love me because I was a demon. Turns out, these parents are pretty cool. Okay, class. Last night I graded your math papers, and I have to say that they weren't very good. What? I studied for like a week for that math test. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, but you only got a B. A B? 
Oh my god, my life is over! A B? That's pretty good. I'd call that passing. Molly, you don't understand! <laughs> Daisy, are you okay? Daisy, call 911! I'm fine, Molly. I just never want to come out from under this desk. It's so humiliating. OMG, she's like so dramatic, Mrs. Smith. Oh, I don't even want to be in this class anymore. Sarah, try to behave, okay? All of you try to behave. Look, I hate to have to give you a mountain of homework, but since you all didn't do very good on the math test, I'm going to have to. What? More homework? All we do is homework and tests. Tests and homework. Then some reviews. Then more homework. Then more tests. Molly, that's how we get smart. I don't want to be smart if I have to do this much homework. Molly, you don't mean that. Yeah, Molly, you don't mean that. Well, do you have any homework? Um, well, not exactly. Well, then why should I have to do all the homework? You're a grown-up. Seems like you should have to do more homework than me. I'm just a kid. I should be able to run around and swim in the pool and live life while I'm still young. You're old. I mean, your time's almost up. Molly! Molly, that's kind of rude. You don't want detention, do you? No, Mrs. Smith, sorry. <sighs> Can I go to the bathroom? My stomach kind of hurts. Sure, Molly, but hurry back. We're going to review these tests, and they're not very good. Okay, fine. I'll be back in a few minutes. Ah, freedom. Feel like I can breathe again. Ew, changed my mind. Oh, it smells like sticky poo-poo in here. Oh, I can't breathe at all. Oh. Well, I guess it's better than being in the classroom. I'm just going to sit here and relax for a few minutes. Ah, this is the life. Well, it's not really the life. <laughs> I sort of made that sound like I was sitting on the beach, relaxing my life away. Now I'm actually hiding in the girls' bathroom, so I don't have to go back to math class, but, you know, whatever. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take out my tablet and, and see what I can find. What? There's a new spell out in my spell book? Amazing! What is it? A life swapper? OMG! I could swap lives with anybody! Who would I swap lives with? Daisy? Pfft, nah! Her life's boring! All she does is homework, homework, homework. Hmm, what else? Sarah? Nah, Sarah's a bully and rude. Nobody would like me if I was Sarah. Jiminy Cricket, I have a good idea! I could swap lives with my teacher! <laughs> Then she'd have to do all the homework, and I could party! Woohoo! That's a great idea. Okay, what's it say the spell is? Alakazam? Alakazoo? Oh, I better not read the, the rest of it. I don't want to switch lives with, like, the toilet or something. <laughs> Switching lives with the school toilet would be the worst life ever! Okay, time to switch lives with my teacher. Oh, nice of you to join us again, Molly. Wait, why do you have your tablet out in school? You're not supposed to have that out in school. I just have to say something to you, Mrs. Smith. Alakazam! Alakazoo! I'm going to trade lives with you! Uh-oh, this is going to be bad. What? What? What's going on? Why am I out of my seat? I don't want to get in trouble. Ugh, I don't want to get another detention. <laughs> Looks like the spell worked. Molly, what? What's going on? Why, why, why is the teacher a student and the student a teacher? My spell worked perfectly. Wait, I must have got bunked in the head when you did that spell. I don't remember you doing it. Nah, that's probably just part of the spell. Okay, class, time to get doing all your homework. Uh, excuse me, we're not even at home yet. Okay, well, you're at school then. Do some schoolwork. Uh, yeah, this teacher is, like, so lame. She's boring. Hey, you could call me Miss Molly, and I'm not boring. Wow, I feel like a giant. Look how tall I am. Sarah, you're very short. Uh, rude. Why are you calling me short? That's just so mean. Sorry, I, ju I just feel like you're so much shorter than me now. <laughs> you're, like, so tiny, like a little tiny baby. Go away. You're such a rude teacher. Hey, don't talk to your teacher that way. You'll get detention. Do you want detention, Sarah? Uh, no, not really, Miss Molly. <laughs> I can give Sarah detention! This is the best day ever! Well, I've decided you're gonna have detention. What? What did I do? You're just rude in general. So, uh, stay after school. OMG, I've cheerleader practice after school. 
I don't care, Sarah. You're going to be here for detention. OMG, this is terrible. I didn't even do anything wrong. Um, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, Miss Molly. Uh, yeah, what is it? Um, I was wondering, can, can we go to lunch now? I'm starving. I guess. But don't be annoying or I'll have to give you detention. Wow, Marley, I can't believe you're the teacher. Do you even know enough to teach us anything? I know enough to teach you to shh or you're going to have detention. Marley, te quit telling me to shh. Be quiet or detention. Marley, that's rude. Shh. Quiet or detention. Whatever, I'm going to lunch. Sarah, are you going to lunch? I don't know. I'm just so upset about my cheerleading practice. I can't even go. Well, that's what you get for being rude. Detention! Whoa, my stomach's growling. I've got to go to the lunchroom, too. I hope we're having pizza today. I'm so, so hungry for pizza. OMG, I love this song. I love sitting on the table eating pizza. Ah! Bad students! Well, at least Daisy's acting the way she's supposed to. Of course I am. I don't want detention. Hey, you two get down from there right now or you're going to have detention. I don't care. You already gave me detention. Well, you're going to have a whole week's worth. Do you want that? Watch this dance move, Miss Molly. Ha ha ha. Whoa, I'm going to dance. Uh, no. You're not going to sing either. <gasps> Stop stepping on the pizza. Oh, my God. You ruined the pizza. What a horrible day. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have been a teacher. This seems kind of crazy. Okay, sit down and... All right. Now... Now, Mrs. Smith, why are you calling me Mrs. Smith? My name is Hannah. Okay, Hannah, sit on the chair. You you can't you can't sit on top of the table. That's against the rules. Do you want detention? Um, not really. But I guess if it means that I can sit wherever I want, then maybe. No, you don't get to be a rebel whenever you want. Maddie, you were always a rebel. Daisy, shh, don't say that. Okay, fine. Um. I'm going to go ahead and buy an ice cream. Buy it? But you're... What are you doing? Well, there's no lunch lady today. So I'm just giving myself an ice cream credit. You can't steal an ice cream. I'm not. I'm just giving myself credit for five of them until tomorrow. Daisy, you can't eat five ice creams. You'll get sick and throw up in the girls' bathroom. You're not my mom. No, but I'm your teacher. Now, give me the money for the ice cream and I'll give it to the lunch lady. Okay, fine. Here you go. Very good. Okay, I'll just put it in the cash register. And done. Okay, lunch is dismissed. Sarah! Oh my gosh, that's it. You got two nights detention. Okay, well, as long as I have detention, watch this awesome cheerleading dance move. What? I'm amazing. Oh my gosh. The bell rang. Everybody back to class. Well, being a teacher is harder than I thought. I will behave in school. Okay, guys, new rule, it's on the board. Daisy, you can't bring your ice cream to class. I didn't finish it, Molly, and it's so delicious. I will behave in school? Pfft, what is this, English? I thought we were in math class. Where's the math problems? Well, first of all, you need to learn basic, basic behavior in school. That's why I'm saying you will write a hundred times, I will behave in school. Two plus two equals... Poo! What? what? Sarah! Oh my gosh, three nights detention. Oh man, I gotta erase this. I will not write poo on the board. Sarah, write this a hundred times. <laughs> I will not write poo on the board. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm on the teacher's desk. I'm on the teacher's desk. Hannah, detention! Okay, everybody, class is dismissed. Go home, unless you have detention. I'm the only one that didn't get detention. Well, aren't you so special? Go home! Molly, I'll see you there. Oh, I'm so tired after this long day. Get out of my classroom! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Okay, Hannah, sit at your desk, please. Unless you like, would like a week's worth of detention. Well, you're a teacher and you can't even talk. You're like, whoa, 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 like a baby. Hannah, rude. Okay, let's go over some simple uh, math right now, okay? Ten um, times, oh wait, times three equals. Where's the equal sign? I can't find it. 
um, you just write it on the board, duh. Okay, what? It, it didn't work out! <laughs> She's a terrible teacher. I'll write it on the board for you, <laughs> since you can't seem to do it. Okay, Sarah, fine. Write it on the board. Why don't you just get your homework out here? <laughs> oh, wow. Mrs. Smith had a lot of tests and papers to grade still. Okay, I wrote the question on the board for you. Ha <laughs> ha ha. What's so funny? Three plus ten. Sarah! Okay, that's it. You have in-school suspension. Everybody go home. I, I can't even deal with my job anymore. Oh, my God. When did I think I could be a teacher? Finally, home sweet home. Too bad I have all these papers to grade. Ugh. The teacher doesn't have homework, but they sure do have a lot of, well, teacher work after school. Oh, my gosh. Why did I eat so much ice cream? Blech. Ew, gross. Well, I guess I'll just sit here and grade papers. Oh, wow, this student did terrible. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Marley, you want to play a game? We can play Roblox. Sorry, I'm the teacher now and very busy. Marley, come on, we can do some cool Roblox games. There's a new spy game and all sorts of fun things. Can't, Daisy, still grading these papers. Ugh, ugh, so many papers. So many papers. Ugh. Marley, let's go get in the pool. I can't, Daisy. Still grading papers. You get an F. You get an F. You, 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 you get an F, too. You all fail. Wait, what? What? Oh, what time is it? Oh, my gosh. It's 8 a.m. I'm late for school. How can the teacher be late for school? This is so bad. This is so, so, so bad. Okay, where's my car? Where's my car? Ah! Daisy took my car! Okay, I can run there. It's good. <laughs> Wait a minute! I forgot the papers! Oh, man. I'm totally gonna be so late for my own class. Okay, papers, papers, papers. Got them. Oh, my gosh. I hope that they're not destroying the entire school because you know those kids are total brats. Huh. Finally, I made it. Huh. <sighs> and now I'm old, so I can't breathe because I ran that whole way, and that's what happens to old people. <laughs> Good morning, class! You mean afternoon? Could you get here on time? I mean, you are the teacher. Sarah, shh! Quiet, please. Well, she does have a point, Molly. What were you doing? You slept so late. I was grading all these horrible papers. You failed, and you failed. I didn't fail, did I, Molly? You got a C. You graded that wrong. No, I didn't. That's it. This this classroom's a joke. I'm having a dance party. Well, what are you guys doing? You're the students. Get and who got three plus ten equals poo? Oh, that would be me, because it's hilarious. It is pretty funny. Three plus ten equals boo. <laughs> you, you all have detention. Well, um, we're not really interested in you being our teacher anymore. What? Okay, that's it. I quit. I wish I had never made that wish. Being a teacher is so much harder than I ever thought it would be. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't want to be a teacher. I don't want to be a teacher. I'd rather be a toilet in the school bathroom than a teacher. Seriously, I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wait a minute. I'll just use the spell and I'll reverse it back. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Besides, I'm wearing my Harry Potter glasses. I mean, I'm already magical just because of that. All right, here we go. I hope this works. I really hope this works. Ooh, this party's so much fun. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Smith? Alakazam! Alakazoo! I'm trading lives with you! What is going on in this classroom? Sarah, get off my desk. You have detention. What? What? What's going on? Molly was our teacher. What are you talking about? Molly is certainly not your teacher. Molly, why were you standing up here? Um, I was just trying to tell you that um, Daisy and Sarah are misbehaving. What? You tattletale, Molly. 
Well, thank you for letting me know, Molly, but I have two eyes so I can see that they are being naughty on my own. Daisy, you have detention. What? I never had detention. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I guess swapping lives wasn't all that bad. I managed to get my sister Daisy detention. Molly, that is not an accomplishment. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Daisy, you'll be fine. It's only one day after school. You can do your homework while you're sitting here. But, but the idea that I've had detention is, it's horrible. Oh, get over yourself. Sit down in your seat. Seriously, you're starting to annoy me. Okay, class. Okay. Um, did someone write 3 plus 10 equals poo on my board? Yeah, I think that must have been Sarah. Sarah? What? I didn't do it. It was Daisy. What? I didn't do it. It was Molly. What? No, I didn't. I was... I didn't do it. I don't care who did it. I'll just erase it. Don't do it again, guys. Seriously. I need a vacation. For once in my life, I understand what you mean. Truly, I do. Okay, class. I'm going to assign you a lot of homework tonight. I have to because, well, math is cool. I don't care. I'll do all the homework in the world. As long as I don't have to be the teacher. Really, Molly? You've turned over a new leaf. Yeah, but as you said, Mrs. Smith, math is cool. Ah, this is a life. I'm so glad that we don't have school today. Molly, are you just going to sit there all day like a lazy slug? Well, I was thinking about it. What's wrong with being a lazy slug? Slugs are pretty cool. Molly, don't you want to go outside and, like, get some exercise? Not really. I'd rather just sit here all day. You know what would make this perfect, though? If you got up and did something with your life, Molly? No. A donut. <laughs> Ooh, donuts. I love donuts. Oh, boy, Molly. How about a nice healthy apple or something like that? No. Dizzy, were you going to get an apple? I was thinking about it, but I figured you'd say no. So I'm just eating it myself. Mm, this is good. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, hey, Brookie. No, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Nothing important. No, I'm literally just chilling on my couch right now. Ah, <sighs> No school, my favorite. Wait, what? You're having a sleepover at your new house? Holy guacamole, that sounds amazing. Wow, that's the only thing that's gotten Molly off the couch all day long. I'm starting to think I need to go to the garage and get my crowbar. <laughs> Dad, don't be ridiculous. Molly, what's she saying? What's she saying? She's saying that um, we both can come to a sleepover at her house tonight. Well, that is if I let you go. Dad, please, 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 please. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty please. I'll even let you eat the last donut. Wait a minute. We have donuts? No correction, Molly has a donut, and she might let you have it if you let us go to the sleepover. Um, I think you guys are trying to bribe me right now. Absolutely. Here, let me get my backpack and see if I can find that donut. Oh, how long has it been in your backpack? Um, just a few days, no big deal. Ill. Um, okay, I guess you can have it. All right, suit yourself, Dad. Molly, you can eat the donut. He said so. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Just because it was in my backpack a couple days doesn't mean it's bad or anything. Um, Molly, oh, that's kind of gross. So we could go to the sleepover? Absolutely. Yay! Thank you, Dad. You're the best dad ever. I'll see you tomorrow after the sleepover. Uh, girls, don't you need your luggage? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, Molly, you ran the... You ran the door into me. Sorry about that. La, 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 la. Let's see. Okay. I got to get out my suitcase. Let's see if I can find it. Ooh, I forgot I had a Reese cup in here. Delicious. A lawnmower. Molly, why you got a lawnmower in your backpack? Guess I need to make some extra money and mow the neighbor's yard. Okay, I don't, I don't see my... Okay, there's a bag full of cash. You have a bag full of cash? Holy guacamole, Molly. There, perfect. Now I just gotta pack up my clothes and I'll be all ready to go. La 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 la. Done! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Have a great time, girls. I'll just sit here by myself and be bored. We could have had family time. Tomorrow, Dad, tomorrow. Right now it's sleepover time. Um, wait a minute. 
Did Brookie say she moved in right next door to us? Yeah, Marley, she did. But Daisy, oh my gosh, the only thing that's next door to us is a, a tree house. Holy guaca, Marley, that's so cool. Ugh, this suitcase of mine is super heavy. I had to pack everything I'd ever need. Industrial blow dryer, uh, let's see, hair spray. Daisy, ugh, you don't need all that stuff for one night and a sleepover. Ugh, ugh. Wow, the walls on this are really high. Better call Brookie and tell her we're here so she can let us in. Hey, Brookie, we're here. Um, you failed to mention that we're having a sleepover in a tree house. Okay, Molly, I'll be right out to let you in. Cool. Okay, Molly, door's open. Just climb the ladder. Whoa, she's got a great pool and a hot tub. Me first, Molly, me first. No, me first, me first. What? This place is amazing. Daisy, ring the doorbell, rude. She said we could go in, duh. Holy guacamole. This is the nicest treehouse I've ever seen in my entire life. You live here? Are you for real? Yeah, my parents are pretty cool like that. We decided to move into a treehouse. Holy guacamole. I'm going to look around, okay? Sure, Molly. Go right ahead. OMG. This place is awesome. What? There's a balcony, like, off of your bathroom? Seriously, what do you need that for? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check out the pool now. Holy cow. Whoa, you can see the beach from here. That's so amazing. Do you guys wanna go in my pool? Absolutely, I do. Let's do this. Whoa, wee! Ah, the water feels great. Brookie, where are you? She'll be out in a minute, Molly. She probably had to lock up the house or something. Yeah, good point. Lots of people would wanna steal a tree house. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's get in the hot tub. The pool's a little chilly still. Okay, sounds good to me. Ah, so amazing. Daisy, are you going to come in? I'm just so amazed that she has a treehouse, a pool, and a hot tub. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. This is the best sleep I've ever been over to, and I, I can't even talk right now. I'm so happy I'm crying. Why are you crying, Daisy? Aren't you happy? Ah, uh, she does this sometimes. Sometimes she gets so happy that she cries. Wow. <laughs> that sounds amazing if you're that happy. Um, that you cry. Like, I've never even thought about being that happy before. But I'm pretty happy that you guys are here. Pretty happy? Don't you mean really happy? Super happy? Over the top happy? Yeah, of course. I guess I just don't get, like, like overly excited, really. I'm just kind of, like, chill most of the time. Not me. I can cry over anything that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, Daisy, seriously? I'm gonna need to have a snack. I'm gonna calm myself down. <laughs> well, I can make some burgers or something. Don't worry, Daisy will make them. She's awesome at it. And she's just, like, super excited. So she's got to do something with herself, you know, to get rid of some of the excitement energy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just chilling in the hot tub, so... That's cool if she wants to make food. Okay, everybody, gonna try not to burn down the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you're not crying anymore, Daisy. Are you still super excited? Of course I am, Molly! Of course I am! Oh my gosh, Daisy. It's gonna be okay. Don't burn the burgers, though. I'm really hungry. Oh, she does have a place you can sit down. This is a nice picnic table. Brookie, I've decided that I'm moving in and I'm going to be your sister. Me too. I want to be your his sister forever because this is an amazing place to live. And I really, really love it. Yeah, we couldn't tell her anything. All right, I need my cheeseburger. Daisy, these are delicious. Why, thank you. Um, Sometimes when I'm feeling super excited and I cry, I make delicious cheeseburgers. <laughs> Daisy, you could be a little crazy sometimes, but I still love you. Money food! <laughs> mm. I need something to drink here too Ooh, this black sea aid looks good Glug, 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 glug ah. So guys, what do you want to do now? You want to go watch a movie? It's getting dark outside Absolutely! I'm going to jump in the pool one more time though ah. So refreshing And a little freezing because the sun went down Come on Molly, let's go into this awesome tree house 
Let the sleepover begin. Um, Daisy, the sleepover started like four hours ago. Okay, but this is the actual sleeping part. Daisy, you're gonna fall asleep? That cheeseburger was huge. I'm not sure I could stay awake. Food coma! Okay, let's see if there's any good movies on. Oh, it just turns off and on. Okay, I have to wait for Brookie, I think. I've got this, Molly. You just relax. Okay. Oh, this movie is hilarious. Ooh, Hospital 911. Have you guys seen Brook High yet? Um, we've only seen the show, not the movie. Oh, the movie is so amazing. Get your popcorn and your tissues ready. You're going to need it. Oh, no, not something else that's going to make me cry. Ah, I don't cry at movies. Yeah, wait, Molly. You saw the notebook. You cried like a baby. Oh, no, I did not, Daisy. Yes, you did, Molly. And when you watched Jumanji, you cried. Daisy, I did not cry when I watched Jumanji. Yes, you did, Molly. You were like, oh, my gosh. She turned into a monkey. <laughs> Daisy, shh. Sisters are not supposed to say these things. They're supposed to keep the secrets of their sisters. <laughs> okay, girls. Don't have to fight about it. Seriously. Okay, are we going to watch this? Or are you going to just, like, bug me the whole time, Daisy? No, I'm not. We're going to watch it. I'm so glad you guys are here for a sleepover. Literally, this is the best day ever. So you're more than just pretty happy? I'm super happy. But I probably won't cry about it. I will. <laughs> this is the best day of my life ever. Oh, Daisy. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Finally, after four long weeks of staring at this computer. Oh, I'm so happy. What is it, Mom? You're totally freaking out. Yay, yay, yay. I finally found a job, and it's the job of my dreams. Okay, I have a few questions about this new job. Okay, what are they? One, do they pay you money? Of course, Molly, it's a job. <laughs> I'm going to get paid money, and I really like the job. Two, are they going to pay you lots of money? Yes, they're going to pay me tons of money. I'm excited, too, because we can finally go to the ice cream shop again, because you have a job and not poor anymore. Yeah, isn't it great? This job's going to be so cool. How do you know, Mom, if you've never worked there before? Molly, seriously, do not interrupt my dance party. Wow, my mom dances so weird. Speak for yourself, Molly. I am so hip and cool. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, Mom. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, girls, time to go get ready for bed. <laughs> I have to get her up early for my new job tomorrow. But, Mom, it's still daylight out. I don't care. Time for bed. Everybody upstairs. Come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. My mom's gone crazy about this new job. <laughs> She's sending me to bed already. Well, I guess I should go to the bathroom. Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong room. Oopsie. Where am I? I'm so lost right now. Oh, wait. This is my house. I shouldn't be lost. Ah, <sighs> That's better. La, 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 la. I finally get to go to the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a new job. I got a new job. Woohoo! Mom, are you jumping on the bed? No, not me. <laughs> Never. Wee! <laughs> Wee! My mom has gone completely insane. I just gotta um get some water in the sink so that I can brush my teeth, put on my pajamas, and it's time for bed. I wonder what new job my mom got. I forgot to ask her. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find out in the morning. Daisy. 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 Oh, my gosh. My sister always falls asleep, like, the minute her head hits the pillow. Not me. I'm usually awake for a long time. I stare at the ceiling sometimes. Boring. Sometimes I count sheep. One. Two. Also boring. Then I decide to do something really crazy to my sister like this. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> what? what? What was that? It sounded like a ghost. Molly, wake up, Molly. Huh? What? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> ah, I think I might be kind of an evil sister. Where is everybody? Everyone knows we have math class this morning. Wait. Am I, ro am I wrong? Did, did, did I have a different class to start out? Oh, man! I went to the wrong classroom! Oh, man, I'm going to be terrible at school forever. It was English I was supposed to go to. Oopsie! 
Uh, Molly, you're late. Sorry, I was actually in school, but I was over in the math room. I mean, sorry I'm late. Molly, if you're late again, she's gonna keep giving you detention. I know, I didn't mean to. I, I accidentally went to the math class instead of English. Oopsie. Um, thanks for letting me go to the bathroom, Mrs. Smith. I really had to go. No problem, Daisy. Okay, Molly, take out your book, please. We're gonna be reading Shakespeare today. Shakespeare? More like boring spear. Molly, that didn't even make sense. Sorry, nothing really rhymes with Shakespeare, so. Where's my book? I can't find, oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought maybe I lost it. Oh, that would be such a tragedy. <laughs> Molly, you're being so naughty. <laughs> Sorry, this class really bores me when we read Shakespeare. Molly, shh. I'm trying to be a good student. So, Molly, um, do you want to, like, go to the park or something after school? Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, please just stop disrupting the class. You're being loud by talking to your friend. And I don't want to have to tell you again that you could get detention if you keep doing it. Okay, okay. Now open up your book again and start reading. Fine. Spooky. What should we do at the park? Should we go swimming or just swing on the swings or... We should do it all, Molly. I could run home and get my bathing suit if you want. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, Molly, I've had enough. That's it. You have to go to the principal's office. What? But I was just talking for a second. I gave you a warning and you didn't listen. And I heard our new principal is very strict and mean. Got a new principal? What happened to Mr. Grumpmiser? What? That's not his name. Uh, yeah, that's just what y'all call him. Because <laughs> he was really old. Well, he retired. Oh, wow, I thought maybe he died. No, not yet, but maybe in a couple years. <laughs> he did fart a lot. <laughs> Molly, go to the principal's office. I can't deal with you today. Okay. Attention, Brookhaven High, attention. Molly is going to be going to the principal's office. Molly to the principal's office. Oh, man, now it's time to do the walk of shame. Huh. <sighs> Well, hopefully this new principal isn't too mean. Hello, it's Molly reporting for principal's duty. Go ahead, take a seat, please. Mom, is that you? Molly, are you at the principal's office again? Why are you at the principal's office? Oh God, they called you, didn't they? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in school suspension. No, Molly, this is my new job. I am the principal. Oh, uh, Molly? Molly? Oh no! My mom's the principal! Twice as many punishments! Ah. Molly, get up please. You need to talk to me about what happened in the classroom. Oh no. Have a seat please. Okay, so um, we were reading Shakespeare, thought it was really boring, and I was talking to Brookie. Did your teacher give you a warning? Uh, well, uh, Molly? Yeah? Oh, and you kept on doing it, disrupting the class from learning? Yeah. Okay, Molly, to the detention room. And I want you to write on the board, I will be good a million times. But Mr. Grumpmeister only made me do it one or two times. Who? Oh, man. A million times, Molly. Now get going. Fine. Oh, this is the worst ever. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. Oh, this is horrible. I literally can't believe my mom's the principal. She's a terrible principal. Uh, what did you just say? Huh, what? Ah, I didn't know you were behind me. You're the sneakiest principal on the planet. Molly, I think you need to write, I will be good two million times. Oh, man. Get going, Molly. I hope you don't get any hand cramps. I will be good. I will be good. I hate the principal. <laughs> oh, I better erase that before she comes back. I will be good. <laughs> what was that you just had on the board, Molly? Nothing. Um, principal mom person? I don't know what to call you when I'm at school. I will be good. Okay, well... Keep writing, Molly. You have a long way to go. Bye, Mom, principal person. Uh, finally, I finished all those 
all those writings on the board for detention. Maybe you won't do that again, will you, Molly? Okay, class. <laughs> it's almost time to go home. Attention, attention. Oh, it sounds like there's an announcement from the principal. Everyone listen up, please. Oh, this ought to be good. Mom principal is evil. Molly, how rude. Wait a minute, did you say mom principal? Daisy, mom is our principal. <laughs> yeah, right, Molly. I don't believe you, whatever. It's her new job. Seriously, Daisy, she's the principal. Wait, what? Are you being serious? Okay, everyone, I want everyone to report to the bathrooms with your toothbrushes. There is a lot of mess to clean up, and we're going to start with scrubbing the toilets. Everyone should expect to be at the school an extra two hours. What? That sounded awful a lot like Mom's voice. I'm telling you, Mom's the new principal, and she's insane. Yeah, I think she might be a really horrible principal. Stay after school for two hours to scrub the toilets with toothbrushes? Oh, no. This is the new job she was talking about, Daisy. Well, I guess we better get to the bathrooms. We need to figure out a way to get Mom fired from this job. Seriously. Oh, man. Scrubbing the toilet with my toothbrush? Gross. Daisy, come out here right now. Quit being so naughty. You'll never find me. I will find you in... Oh, wait, I'm in the laundry room. Maybe I will never find you. Um, No, seriously, though, Daisy, I don't want you to get hurt. You're just a baby. You're not going to find me, and I'm a demon. A demon? What are you talking about? No, you're not. You're a cute little innocent baby. You're not a demon. I'm going to be, Molly. You just... Be. Ow! What I trip over? Ow! Ow! Oh, I definitely need to get the lights on in here. Wait, what was that? Okay, let me just put my flashlight on. Oh, no, my flashlight's not working. All right, there we go. Ah, what's that? That's me being evil. <laughs> Daisy, you're creeping. Look at your eyes. Oh, wait, what are you doing? I'm throwing up everywhere. Watch me puke. Blah. Uh, Daisy, why are you puking in that box? Because, Molly, <laughs> it's going to make me a demon. Wait, what? Daisy, don't do this. D Daisy? <laughs> I can't wait to be evil. Ew, she's throwing up a lot. Oh my gosh. O-M-G. Daisy, what's happening to you? Ah, ah, look at her. She's like five babies in one. <laughs> Molly, now you're going down. Ah, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ow, ew, ew, she threw up. Oh, I don't feel so good. I think I might be a zombie. Okay, what is that? Um, a harmless shock toy that makes baby tired. Uh, Daisy, I want you to come here a minute. Here you go, Daisy. Come here. What are you doing? Don't touch me with that. It's gonna hurt. No, it won't. No, it won't. Oh, man, I accidentally threw it. Oops, you gotta go pick it back up. Okay, actually, I think this is the vacuum. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for that shock thing. <laughs> I found it. Take that. Ow! Oh, you're hurting, Jamin, baby! What's wrong with you? Um, what's wrong with me is you're psycho. And it's time for you to go night night. Come here. Come here. I gotta pick you up. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. I gotta get the generators on before I die. <laughs> Demon Daisy is a winner. And Daddy is a loser. Ow. Okay, maybe I can go through this vent. Oh, there we go. I don't think that demon will follow me in here. You lose. Oh, man. Come on, Daisy. Let's have another match because, seriously, I stunk at that one. <laughs> oh, great. I respawned in the potty. Well, I did eat a bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly. And I thought being a demon was gross. <laughs> All right, I've got to find the generators before Daisy finds me and kills me. Okay, I kind of don't want to turn on the light because I'm a little bit afraid that um, Daisy will know where I am if I do. Wait, what's that? Maybe it'll be useful to me. Ooh, a candle. That's definitely going to be useful. Actually, not really. It doesn't throw off much light. Hmm. Ooh, 
maybe I can go through this vent. Ooh, a gas can. In case I want to burn the house down, what are you talking about? Maybe I can get out of here. Escape this evil demon, baby! Ugh. Wait, okay, that just took me into the living room. Where are you? Where's the basement? Ow, did you just throw something in my head? Under construction? How do I get through there? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ow, why are you jumping on my head, demon baby? Ah, your eyes are so creepy. All right, I, I gotta try to take this baby down. I, I can, like, suck this baby up with this vacuum. <laughs> that seems to work pretty good. Come here, baby, come here. Ah, Molly, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, come with me, little brat. You're gonna go night-night. I don't think so. Yeah, get over here. Wait, did this thing stop working? Oh, no, no. Here we go. Ouch, that hurts! Well, it shouldn't. It's just that you're resisting going to bed. You need to go night-night. This is your playroom. This is night where you go night-night. Let me try to find the, the crib. I can't find the crib anywhere. Ah! Ow! Why are you hitting me? Okay, that's really starting to make me mad. You're gonna get a timeout! Bad, bad, bad baby. Wait, wait, get back here! All right, guys, I lost the baby. I don't know how to turn on the generator. Wait, there's the baby. Ah! What are you doing, you naughty little brat? Oh, wait, it needs to charge, guys. I can't even use it right now. What is this thing? Oh, man, it's like magic or something. Dynamite stick, I'm not really sure what it is. But, um, oh my god, what is going on? Huh? Ah! Um, guys? Oh, the baby's doing some sort of weird seance or something. All right, let me, let me see if I can find any of these generators. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, Molly! Ah, you're so creepy as a demon! Huh? You've only got 30 seconds left. Oh, wow, look at the fireworks. It's amazing out here. Wait, maybe the generators are out here. You're gonna die again. And you try being the daddy, okay? This is not easy. What is that? That looks like some sort of weird dog. Uh, Ducky, are you okay? <laughs> That dog looks so weird. Oh, I lost again! Okay, Daisy, it's so easy to be the baby, and it's so hard to be the daddy. So this time, you're gonna be the daddy. What? No! I wanna be the baby! No, you can't always be the baby. I get to be the baby sometimes. <laughs> now I'm gonna be the evil baby. Hiya! Hiya! Okay, my arm looked a little creepy right there. Molly, try to behave. Nope, not gonna behave. Not even a little bit. All right, I have to find something that will make me puke. So I have to puke at that box in order to turn into a demon. So I've gotta go find like gross stuff to, ooh, there's the box. Okay, I've gotta find gross stuff to drink. Let's go do this. I think if I go upstairs, I'll find something. Um, When you're the baby, you move so fast. When I was the daddy, I was, like, so slow. All right, let's go into daddy's room and see if I can find something really naughty to drink that I'm not supposed to have. Um, so far I haven't found anything. Ugh! I definitely want to puke acid at daddy. <laughs> yeah, okay, Molly, but I'm setting up booby traps for you. You're never going to get away. We'll see about that. <laughs> Looky what I finally found. Ugh, now I just gotta reach it. Ugh. I'm so tiny. Okay, there we go. Um, drink water. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Right there. Bingo! Swap with hammer. And drinky, drinky! Glug, 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 <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. My stomach feels really weird right now. Molly, did you just drink something horrible for you? Um, maybe? <laughs> I guess I need another one because I'm not throwing up yet. And I need to in order to puke at that box. Then I turn into demon baby. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Oh! <laughs> Here comes demon mom. Here comes demon mom. 
Okay, that was so ridiculously funny. <laughs> oh, look at me. I am evil. Uh-oh. There's only one minute remaining. Well, I don't think Daisy's turned on any of the generators yet, so I should be pretty okay. Molly, where are you? And what are you trying to do? Um, just so you know, being a daddy is a lot harder work than it looks. Molly, what are you doing? I'm puking acid at you. <laughs> That's what demons do. Ah, oh, that really hurt, Molly. <laughs> yes, I win. See, I told you, it's much harder to be daddy than it is to be baby. I'm being baby again. Molly. Oh, come on. It's so fun to be baby. Fine, I'll be daddy, but this time I'm not giving you any leeway. I'm going to get all of these generators turned on and you're going down. All right, guys, I've got to find some poison to drink like mega fast. And also that box that turns me into a demon. Oh, it's right here in the living room. Oh, there's, there's some poison right there. All right. Here we go. Drinking it, guys. Drinking it down. <laughs> I also broke the table. Man, I'm evil. Oh, I'm puking already. Oh, let me puke at this box. Uh-oh. Yes! <laughs> Demon Molly. Demon Molly. Demon Molly. Wow, that is just terrifying. All right. Let's go make Daisy's life horrible. Oh, I'm, like, really slow when I'm Demon Baby. Uh, uh, fire beam? Seriously? Whoa, I can shoot fire? Um, but I'm having a little trouble going up the stairs. Okay. Uh, I'm like too chubby or something as Demon Baby. Alright, fine. I can't go up the stairs because I'm too chubby. No problem. I'll just shoot some acid. Yep, yep. I'll put it right here at the bottom of the stairs. So when Daisy comes back down... Uh-oh, it's SpaghettiOs. Huh, I'm really hungry. I don't have a lot of energy. I better start eating everything in the room. Molly, what are you doing? That's our nice furniture. I'm hungry, Daisy. I'm very hungry. <laughs> oh, I ate that beach ball. That was awesome. Molly, I got one of the generators started. Oh, man, I missed her. I tried to, like, puke up acid at her, but it didn't work. All right, guys, should I try the fire beam? Where'd she go? You're super fast as the daddy. Hello. Oh, I need to suck up some more life of everything. Maybe I can go eat that candle. Is it Bath and Body Works? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I consumed that table. All right, now I'm ready to go. Uh, do do dash. Uh, guys, I'm not sure I want to know what that is, but as soon as I find Daisy, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, Daisy, I hate to do this to you, but. Poopy time. Ew, Molly, are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I made a steamy pile of doo-doo. That was gross. Here, let me just eat this chair. So I have extra, extra strength to do this. Oh, I'm going to burn the house down. I caught the refrigerator on fire. I'm burning the entire house down. Look, I'm red. I'm red. I'm burning everything down, Daisy. Can I eat this door? I want to eat the door. Okay, you're just being ridiculous now, Molly. Well, I'm running really fast. Come here, come here, you! <laughs> wait, why am I eating the trumpets? Oh, wait, who won? Nobody won! What are you talking about? Uh-oh, I think I might have died. Oh my gosh, Demon Baby exploded! I still have a minute, though, to get the last generator on. And if I do, I win! Well, that would be... Fabulous for you, Daisy, because I never won as daddy. Seriously, that's so hard to be daddy. I can't believe I exploded. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wanna I wanna spectate Daisy, but I can't. It's not letting me. Well, I still won, Molly, because um you blew yourself up. Oh man! <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching us play Who's Your Daddy? Demon Baby. Um, this was much harder than I thought, but it was super fun. I agree, Molly, but I liked being Demon Baby best. So did I. That was kind of crazy and totally fun. Guys, if you want to see us play this game again, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Molly, 
I'm so excited you actually want to go to the library today. I mean, I just thought you'd want to sit around and watch TV and eat donuts. No, I love to read. And besides, I sat around and ate donuts all day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat donuts two days in a row. But maybe after we're done at the library, we can go get some Starbucks? <laughs> Excuse me. Does this look like a club to you? Um, no. Why are you trying to make it one? It looks like a library. Of course I'm not. Shh. The library is for being quiet. Shh. Oh, well, you're not being very quiet when you're yelling at me. Molly, you're going to get us kicked out of my favorite place in the whole world. Be quiet. Sorry, jeepers. I didn't know the library was so uptight. All right, let's see. Which book do I want to read? Harry Potter? No, I've read that about a million times. Romeo and Juliet? Blech. Ooh, look. A new science book. That seems super interesting. Also, boring. Do I need you to kick you out of the library? Last warning. Sorry, Miss Grumpy Pants. Ooh, look at this book. This looks very interesting. Brookhaven Secrets. Don't read unless you want to know every secret in Brookhaven. Whoa. Daisy, I just found the coolest book. Molly, shh. No one cares what book you found. Just read it and be quiet. Wow, grumpy. I mean, shh. Wow, grumpy. According to this book, if I go out here and I go into the building over here, <laughs> There's a way to print money. Ooh, now this sounds interesting. This could prove to be very useful. <laughs> now where's that secret button? If this is true and this book really knows all the secrets in all of Brookhaven, I'm going to be the most powerful citizen in the world! Or at least in Brookhaven. What's that glowing light? <gasps> it looks like the secret button! And wait, what did it do? I don't think it did anything. All right, I'm gonna push it again. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just went through the wall. <gasps> There's a secret ladder. Holy guacamole. Wait a minute. <gasps> Is this a money printing machine? Oh my gosh. That book was right. There, there is tons of secrets in Brookhaven. And I'm super rich. La, 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 la. <laughs> now I can eat as many cupcakes as I want. Because I can buy all of them. What else does this book have? Ooh, this chapter seems kind of interesting. There's a monster that lives in Brookhaven. And if you say his name at 3 a.m., he comes to get you? <laughs> this is so funny. That's probably a prank. I mean... This part of the book was true about the money printing machine, but there's no such thing as monsters. <laughs> this book's pretty funny. It's definitely got a prank in it. I'll just collect all my new money and go buy everything I want in the entire universe. <laughs> Daisy, are you still reading that boring science book? Yeah, wait a minute. Where did you get all that money? Oh, um, well, my book just happened to make it for me. What are you talking about? You can't make money just from reading books. I did. <laughs> I've got more money than anyone else in Brookhaven. Well, I mean, I'm going to once my money printing machine is um, up and running again. What do you mean, printing money machine? That's illegal, Marty. What? No, it's not. This amazing book said I can print all the money in the world. And it gives me a bunch of other Brookhaven secrets, too. Molly, what is that book? I got it from the um, forbidden section at the library. It's called Brookhaven Secrets. There's one in here, though, that I think is just a prank. It's about this monster that comes out if you say his name at 3 a.m. Are you serious right now, Molly? You aren't going to try it, are you? Yeah, <laughs> it's seriously funny. <laughs> I think it's a great prank. Buddy, I don't think that's a prank. I mean, if what you say is true, that the money machi making machine was actually a real thing, then that might mean that the monster was real too. And also, can you buy me straw books? Because I use the last of my money and you seem to have more than me. Um, I'll think about it. And Daisy, I'm sure it's just a prank. I don't like this, Molly. Don't you dare say that monster's name at 3 a.m. 
Okay, fine. If it really freaks you out, I won't. Now, come on. Let's get ready for bed. And then we can play some Roblox. Sounds like a great plan, Molly. My sister is so afraid of this prank. I don't know why. It's obviously not true. There's no such thing as monsters. And we're not little kids anymore and believe in stuff like that anyway. Okay, Daisy, I'm in my PJs and I brush my teeth. Are you ready to play Roblox? Oh my gosh, my sister goes to bed so early. Man, she's lame like that. Time to play a little jailbreak. It's an old school Roblox game, but I really like it. If I can even hear myself think over Daisy's snoring. Ugh, having a sister as a roommate, so annoying. Ah, that was a great game, but it's way past my bedtime. Just Daisy's stomach growling. Huh? What? What was that sound? I know I heard something creepy say my name. That was so creepy. Okay, Molly, quit being ridiculous. Obviously, I freaked myself out about some crazy monster that's actually a prank being real. <laughs> I'm going to prove to myself that it's not real by saying its name. This seems so ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. Flippity gibbet. Okay, I, I don't see any monster. Obviously, it was just a prank. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, I'm going back to bed. Daisy's always afraid of everything. And she snores way too loud. Put a sack in it, Daisy. Huh? What? Why are you waking me up, Molly? Did you say that scary monster's name? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Molly? Uh, nothing happened, by the way. It was just a prank. Mm, go back to sleep and try not to snore so loud. Molly. Molly. <gasps> what was that? I know I heard my name that time. It was super creepy. What's that in the, in the, in the, in the corner of our room? Molly, good grief! There's a, there's, a, there's a monster in our room. I said, I said, I said, I said the, 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 the monster's name, and then, Molly, I don't see anything. What are you talking about? He's right there. He's. I can see his scary red eyes and his creepy mouth. And wait a minute, you can't see him? No, I can't see anything. You have to go to the mirror at 3 a.m. and say. Flippity gibbet or gibbet or something like that. And that's his name. And, 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 and you can see him. Molly, this is not a funny prank. I'm not pranking you. He's standing right there. Molly. Molly. Oh my gosh, Daisy, he's saying my name. Molly, go to sleep. Okay, but, but I don't think he's very friendly, Daisy. Molly, you're on the top bunk. No, nothing can climb up there and get you. Okay, but I'm not going to sleep a wink. Not one wink. I am. <laughs> you're coming with me. <laughs> now you're mine. <laughs> Is it 6.15 already? Oh, well, I guess it's time to start my day. Molly, you lazy bones, get out of bed. Wait, Molly's up already? That doesn't seem like her at all. 
Well, maybe she's turned over a new leaf and she's making blueberry muffins for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, right. Like Molly would ever do something nice like that. Is that Molly's cell phone on the floor? And the screen is cracked? Molly never goes anywhere without her phone. Oh my gosh. Maybe she was telling the truth about the 3 a.m. monster. And now he's taking my sister. Wait a minute. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Molly's probably just down at the park. She'll be back any minute. I'm sure of it. <laughs> 3 a.m. monster. How ridiculous. Welcome home, daughter. You're going to be a monster like me now. What? No! I don't want to be a monster! I want to be Molly! <laughs> You'll be better. You'll be Molly Monster. Or maybe Monster Molly. I haven't decided. Daisy! Please help me! Daisy! <laughs> <laughs>